Hi guys, in this Rocket Cake tutorial we will talk about container with columns. Now the container with columns is the third item in the toolset on the top right. So let's bring one on the work area. Container with columns. It offers us three columns and it says minimal width for a column. We'll jump to next line if space is smaller, 150. Let's accept that and click OK. And this is what it does. So we have a container here with three columns in it. And uh, I click on one column and it says that the size of it is 33%. Now Let's replicate this and as we do that we may learn something about how this thing works. So let's bring here a container. Okay, that's an empty container. And let's bring another container into it. And the width of this container is 100%, so let's make it 33%. Okay. Let's let's copy this container and let's paste it twice. Okay, they look very similar, but this looks this looks empty and but this says it's empty. So, what can be the difference? Let's make the work area smaller and yeah, it became like this and this is like this. Let's put a little lower um, ipsum text here. And let's just do this. Let's bring a picture here. It's 50%. Let the width be 100%. Okay, she looks good. Let's copy this. Paste it here. Let's copy this. Paste it here. Let's see what happens. We get close to 450. And yeah. This jumps to full width. And this remains like that. And let's see. Go even smaller. You know. This is basically unusable. So what's the difference? Now this first one, our original, uses breakpoints. So let's right click on it, edit breakpoints. And here is the trick. It says when the view is smaller than 450 pixels, then the width should be 100%. So let's replicate that, edit breakpoints. Let's click on this plus sign. When the view is smaller than 400 and 640, that's what it offers, but we want 450. Let's add a feature, width. Then the width should be 100%. Okay, let's do the same with this. Edit breakpoints. At the breakpoint 450, with 100%. Right click, edit breakpoints, plus 450, add with 100%. And it's not an empty container anymore. Basically, these are identical. So these columns are actually containers with breakpoints. So let's see how it works. Let's get closer and let's see what happens when 
we come to 450 points yes and the other does the same okay let's do something else container with columns let's bring it here and let's say we want the amount of columns be 4 and the minimal width for a column should be 200. Let's see what happens. Here we are. And let's just give these columns some background color. Just for fun. Let's see what happens now. We are making the work area smaller and this time, because we said we want these columns to be minimum 200 points, therefore they have to jump when the viewport is uh, 800. So we come to 800 and hey, this happens. We get close to 400 and uh, yeah, it jumps to full width. So let's check what's happening here. Right click, edit breakpoints. When the view is smaller than 800 pixels, then the width should be 50%. And we click here and we have another breakpoint when the view is smaller than 400 pixels. Let's click on it, then the width should be 100%. OK, let's do it with containers only. So here we have a container. Let's put another container into it. Let the size be 25%. Let's right-click on it, edit breakpoints. Let's add the breakpoint when the view is smaller than 800. So this deals with the view uh, while the original deals with the size of the column or the container. So when the view is smaller than 800, then add width 50%. Let's add another breakpoint. When the view is smaller than 400, then the width should be 100%. OK. Let's see what it does. We get close to 800. Yeah, it jumps to 50%. Let's get close to 400. And it jumps to 100% width. Let's copy this, paste it three times. Yellow. green. Blue. Let's test it again. 800. Yeah. 400. Yes. Let's preview it in the browser. Okay, yeah, it 
it won't get smaller. I personally prefer to use the second method when I put containers into the container because then I feel I'm more in control of what I'm doing. So the container with columns is a great way, a great method to make responsive websites. So it's a great feature of Rocket Cake. I hope you liked this tutorial. If so, I'm happy. Have a beautiful day. God bless you. Bye bye.